It was an ordinary day, filled with the usual excitement and anticipation that comes with embarking on a journey. The airport, a beehive of activity, was a symphony of bustling travelers, the hum of conversations, and the steady rhythm of footsteps. Each traveler, like me, was on the verge of an adventure, an escape from the ordinary into the unknown. It was a scene that was as familiar as it was comforting. Yet, beneath the surface of this everyday occurrence, something strange was about to unfold. As the day wore on, the airport, a hub of constant movement and change, started to feel different, almost eerie. The once familiar landscape seemed to transform before my eyes, its structure morphing into something unrecognizable. The sense of adventure that had initially filled me was gradually replaced by an uncanny feeling. However, as the clock hands relentlessly circled, I realized that the airport had transformed into a trap. My initial annoyance turned into bewilderment as navigating the airport became a game of shifting sands. The landscape of the terminal, once familiar and predictable, began to alter inexplicably. The announcement board flickered, the departure gates changing with an erratic rhythm that defied logic. Each gate number altered before my eyes, morphing into the next with a sly fluidity that left me disoriented. Delayed flights were not a new phenomenon to me. However, in this instance, they seemed to be part of a larger, more insidious design. The delays were not merely inconveniences but part of the shifting, elusive nature of the airport itself. It was as if the flights were locked in a dance with the gates, each delay a beat in a rhythm. The layout of the terminal endlessly shifted and became an ever-shifting puzzle. Corridors twisted and turned in ways they had not before. Passageways that had led to departure lounges now led to more corridors, their paths winding and convoluted. The lounges themselves had become elusive, appearing and disappearing with a will of their own. Even the shops and restaurants, usually reliable landmarks, seemed to have joined in this disorienting dance. As this realization dawned on me, a sense of disquiet settled over me. The airport was no longer a stepping stone to exotic destinations, but a labyrinth designed to confound and confuse. The bustling terminal had become a maze. This unsettling transformation was not just physical. The very fabric of time seemed to have been altered. Clocks ticked, but time stood still, each minute stretching into an eternity. The anticipation of reaching my destination had given way to a growing unease. This was not the adventure I had anticipated, but a journey into the unknown, a journey through the shifting gates and delayed flights of a seemingly ordinary airport. Determined to escape this disconcerting loop, I headed towards the exit. The large glass doors, a symbol of freedom, beckoned me. The automatic doors slid open, a mechanical whisper of hope, drawing me towards the world outside. I could almost taste the sweet air of liberty, but as I stepped through the threshold, my heart sank. Instead of the crisp morning air, I was greeted by the familiar hum of the bustling terminal. The exit, it seemed, had transformed into an entrance, plunging me back into the same bewildering cycle. I tried again, my steps quickening with an increasing sense of dread. Each stride towards the exit was filled with hope, only to be crushed as I re-emerged in the same terminal. The echoes of idle chatter and the drone of distant engines a haunting reminder of my predicament. The exit continued to betray me, morphing into an entrance, trapping me in this perplexing loop. The more I tried to escape, the more convoluted the airport became. Corridors twisted and turned upon themselves, leading me in circles. Every pathway, every turn, every exit led me back to the same terminal. The reality of my situation began to sink in. The hustle and bustle of the airport continued unabated, a stark contrast to the turmoil within me. Fellow travelers moved with purpose, their journeys unhindered by the airport's enigmatic clutches. They appeared oblivious to my struggle, their faces unfazed, their steps unhesitant. I felt a pang of envy, a longing for their unencumbered journey. I was alone in my struggle, a solitary figure caught in the enigmatic clutches of the airport. My attempts to escape, to break free from this disconcerting loop, became a relentless cycle. Desperation fueled my attempts to decipher this surreal puzzle. I tried to make sense of the shifting gates, the elusive exits, and the ever-changing announcement board. Each change, each delay, felt like a personal jest, a cruel trick played by the airport on me. The hands on my watch seemed to mock me as they moved at an agonizingly slow pace, each tick echoing my growing desperation. I tried to share my struggle, to swap stories and theories with fellow passengers. However, my words fell on deaf ears. Some dismissed my predicament as an elaborate prank, 
while others simply didn't believe me. I was alone in my plight, my struggle to escape the airport's enigmatic grasp. As the days blurred into nights, the boundaries between waking and dreaming grew hazy. The once familiar scent of airport coffee and the distant hum of engines became a haunting backdrop to this collective frustration. Each announcement, each delay, only served to amplify this sense of despair. In this solitary purgatory, the concept of time lost its meaning. The outside world faded into a distant memory. The airport, with its unyielding grasp, became an unwelcome home, a prison from which escape seemed impossible. As days blurred into nights, the boundaries between waking and dreaming grew hazy. Gates vanished and reappeared like phantoms, defying the laws of space. The intercom's voice, once a reliable guide, now echoed with cryptic messages, further entangling me in this web of surreal confusion. In the midst of this bewildering dreamscape, I found myself in a solitary quest for understanding. Lost in this endless maze, I surrendered to the embrace of slumber. Sleep became my only escape. Yet despite the despair, a glimmer of hope remained. An announcement echoed through the terminal, proclaiming a departure gate that remained steadfast. Skepticism and hope waged a battle within me. Could this be the end of my surreal ordeal? Or was it yet another cruel trick played by the airport? I approached the gate with measured steps, each one echoing with a blend of trepidation and anticipation. The airport had played its games, shifting and twisting reality. Yet, this gate remained, a beacon of constancy in the midst of chaos. As I neared the gate, the familiar sounds of boarding filled the air. The clatter of luggage wheels, the soft rustle of boarding passes, the murmur of conversations, all grounded in the reality I had almost forgotten. The plane stood firm, engines humming, promising a journey away from this surreal trap. With a deep breath I stepped onto the plane, the familiar welcome from the flight attendants, the soft hum of the plane's engines, the rustle as passengers settled into their seats, all these mundane sounds were like sweet music to my ears. The plane's doors closed, sealing away the puzzling and maze-like airport and its shifting realities. The plane's ascent finally marked the end of my surreal ordeal. The airport, once a prison of shifting gates and elusive exits, thankfully now receded into the background. As we pierced the clouds and the sprawling expanse below became a miniature version of itself, a profound sense of relief washed over me. The world outside with its steadfast reality welcomed me back. The shifting gates and elusive exits became a distant memory, a bizarre chapter in the narrative of my life. The ordeal had left its mark, a strange tale that would be told and retold, a mystery that would never be unraveled. The plane nearly two hours later eventually landed at my destination, a sense of great relief washing over me. As I walked off the plane, the familiar sounds of a bustling airport greeted me, a sweet symphony of normality. However, as I entered the airport terminal, a sense of deja vu overtook me. I was confronted with the same mysterious maze-like airport I had left only a few short hours ago.